Hey folks, hope you are great. Hope you've had a fantastic Friday and you're looking forward to the weekend ahead. I've had some photo ta photos taken today from a new website, so I'm covered in uh, non-shine makeup, I believe. However, I want to talk today about hiring. As the business has started to grow, I've realised that I need to take on help. So you will have seen in previous videos that I've been looking for a virtual assistant, etc., which I've hired. Now I'm trying to find people that I can um, that can help me grow the business in terms of handling client accounts. So looking for people to run the Facebook ad campaigns for clients and really starting to actually take the business from being me into an actual agency model. That that's what we're trying to do just now. So part of that is looking on places like Upwork, etc. But I've also been trying to make inroads with the likes of Edinburgh University to try and see if there's any students that'd be interested in getting some work experience, doing an internship, that kind of idea. So as part of that, I've been getting quite a lot of CVs and cover letters sent to me, people applying for, for um, kind of a position in the company. And I just wanted to make clear what I, what I, what I look for, um, which is something that I've only learned over the last few days as people have started to send me their CVs. Quite frankly, I couldn't care less about the CV and I couldn't care less about the cover letter, even more so about the cover letter. I'm really not going to, to read it. Um, I couldn't care less about the qualification that you've got. What I'm looking for is you to have, a there's a, th a few things I'm looking out for. Number one, does your personality show in the email or the Facebook message or whatever it may be that you send me? Do, are, are you a fun and creative person basically? That's what I'm looking for. Two, do you have any experience? And when I say experience, not necessarily working in a, a job. One, The one person that stood out to me so far out of all the CVs that I've got from students is a girl who had created an Instagram account around a, a certain topic and had grown that Instagram account to thousands of followers. That to me is golden. That shows that one, you've taken the initiative to start something bigger than yourself. You've grown that, so you must understand the platform You've got an understanding of how to grow a social media following. And if you can do that for yourself, you, you, the chances are you can do that for my clients. And I, yeah, I just couldn't, I just, the qualifications and the CVs and the, the CV jargon that you see, like I work well on my own, but also as part of a team, it's just, could not care less about it, seriously. The main thing is, are you a fun, creative person? And do you have experience on building a brand or building a social media following. If you've got that, I'm totally interested. Um, building a brand is, is one of the big ones as well. It's, it's just creating some creating something to show that you have taken the initiative to actually create something um, as opposed to what most people do and just kind of keep themselves to themselves and apply to apply to jobs. I want to see that you have actually, maybe you're a blogger, maybe you, maybe you create YouTube videos. If you're a videographer, I want to see some of the videos that you've created. If you're a blogger, I want to see the blogs you've created. If you're a, an Instagram expert, I want to see the Instagram accounts that you've created to see the, the actual work that you have done and how you can apply that to the clients that we work with. So that's just my take on things. It's going to be different for every business. Some businesses might need to see qualifications. Personally, couldn't care less. I just want to see practical experience and that you'll be a great fit for the company. Thanks for watching folks. Hope you have a great weekend. We'll be back. We'll be back. I'll be back tomorrow as per. We'll see you then.